basically like a part two video we talking about and Dominican Sue and the possibilities of him returning to the Detroit Lions and um we back as Motor City Sports Talk, it's your boy CJ Goodfella. And um, you know, I'm I'm on the other side of people like, man, uh, because if he wanted to come back, he would already contact the Detroit Lions and know and let them know that um he wanted to come back, you know. And the thing about him potentially coming back, you know, after being released by Miami, is the fact that he would give the Lions an attitude or the mean streak and identity they don't have. But I just think at the dollar amount that he's probably gonna be asking for, um, which I'm hearing between seven and fourteen million dollars somewhere in there, I'm not sure. That's just what I'm hearing. I mean, that's not a bad price for a Dominican Sue, especially when the uh the the pass rushing field is very, very scarce right now. You know, if you put him and Robinson and Ziggy Ansa, I mean that's a good three right there. And if you can find the fourth and you can have, you know, Zettel, Spence and uh Kerry Hyder as your backup uh pass rushers and backup defensive linemen, that's deep. It's real, real deep, I think. And it's it's a good it's a good look. But at the end of the day, I mean, um, I, I think it's like very, very slim to zero percent, closer to zero percent than one percent that he'd come back to Detroit. Um you know, but a dominant defensive tackle is usually important to most Patriot runs, you know, not of late, but um you know, with Matt Patricia, I think it's going to be about scheme. That's why you see Kennard and Christian Jones coming in, which is guys that we don't really know about, know what they bring to the table. Just seem like cheap linebackers. We know the Patriots have had some good linebackers, but they got rid of most of them. Um, like Jamie Collins, I mean, you know, over the, over the course, he was a very athletic one. They kept Hightower. But, hey, I would like to see, uh, you know, the Lions make another move, especially up front. Because if you can't get to the to the to the quarterback, I mean, shoot, you're not even gonna be close to winning a playoff game or the Super Bowl. And the Lions right now, pass rush looks weak. The front seven still is as weak as it was before the season ended. You know, as it is now, it's still weak. And people who are pro and Dominic Sue coming back would definitely he would definitely boost that front seven. You know, it'll be a good story for him to come back, but I just don't see it, and I, I don't care if he does come back at this point. I mean, the Lions ain't winning nothing no time soon. And as it's shown through free agency, they they showing you that they're not trying to win. It's not a push to win, and that's kind of a good thing as well. Because you see a lot of teams, especially on the defensive side, throw a lot of money at guys to come in. You remember Jerry Bird came to New Orleans with a couple other people, and it don't work. Oakland bought in Reggie Nelson, Sean Smith. Um, you know, a lot of guys in that sec in that secondary in that defense, and it didn't work. It just simply didn't work. So usually, when I see a lot of people try to throw a lot of money into a team, especially on the defensive side in the NFL, it tends not to work. And I think Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia understand that you want to build a team through the draft, and because it's cheaper, and because you know you can you can develop talent. And let's see if the Lions can truly de- develop talent. But how can you say no if Indomitian Sue wants to come to your, come back to your team? And knowing what he was in Detroit and how important he was to that defense in the middle and knowing that the quickest way to the quarterback is straight up the field, not off the line, I mean off the edges of the line, not from the secondary, not from the nickel, not from the linebacker position, but straight from that defensive tackle position. And, you know, it would be a good story for him to come back. But obviously he's listening to Seattle. He wants to go to Philly, which obviously – um, he said he played for Philly for free, and obviously that ain't the case because if that was the case, Philly would have been scooped him up and his old coach, uh, Jim Schwartz, is the defensive uh, coordinator over there. So he's st- definitely still weighing his options. I heard possibly the Panthers, but a lot of the defensive tackles got ate up already. Don Terry Poe is gone. Um, you know, Starley Lute is gone. And uh, a couple more guys, you know, they already got picked up. And, you know, the free agency period is moving pretty, pretty fast. But, um... You know, Sue we will definitely boost us up. I wouldn't be mad for him coming back, but I really wouldn't care if he did come back. You know, he's not going to break the bank like he tried to do the first time, you know, because he got money out of Miami. You know, he got money. But Dominic Sue, it should be about either returning to Detroit to, to, to turn in a winner or, you know, going somewhere and winning a championship. You know, Pittsburgh, the Panthers, Seattle, even though I don't think they had a championship caliber team anymore after everything they lost. But... You know, he's still amongst one of the best defensive tackles in the league. 
And if he say he wants to come back, how can you tell him no? You can't. You can't look your fans in the face and tell him no. Unless he truly prices himself out and you just truly can't afford him. But he was the face of the Lions defense and kind of was the face of the franchise because you know, everything person PI wise, personal uh well personal file wise and, and dirty tactics, um, was frowned upon. But in Detroit he was beloved and he didn't get it done in Miami because Miami, you know, sucks. I mean he went from Detroit to Miami like that was going from, you know, the Motel Eight to the best to the Western. You know what I'm saying? You know, he took a step back. You know, they made the playoffs just like the Lions made the playoffs. He went to the to basically the same team. But in Detroit, he was much more beloved. He had, you know, much more fanfare. His brand was better in Detroit. In Miami, it's kind of like they take a back seat to high school and college football. And the Dolphins really never got no play because New England was so dominant in the AFC East. And the Dominican Sioux made no difference in that in that division. But in Detroit, he made a huge, you know, impact on us getting up our identity. But at this point, I mean, I don't think he's coming back home. I really don't. It'd be nice, but... It ain't gonna happen. We gone.